Hi, how are you again? It's me. I came today to show you the gold watercolors and supplies that I use to give textures to my paintings. Almost all my landscapes and paintings I like to finish with gold details. So I'm going to show you today because I have tons of questions. Uh, what are the gold? How? What are the materials that I use for these details? So. Today I'm going to show you the pens, the watercolors, and we're going to start with the paper. Today we're going to use this paper. Uh, is a 100% cotton paper, watercolor paper. The brand is Fabriano. It's a really good paper because half the corners with glue, so this holds a lot of water. We're going to do, I'm sorry for this uh, light in the middle, uh, is a lot of sun outside of my window. But I uh, still want to make this video for you because if not, I don't find the time to start with this. So let's start with the colors that we use often. I'm going to do <laughs> something different uh, that I paint normally. I do something more abstract, but it's because I want the colors blends together and put the gold details on top. Let's start doing this and when I finish, I continue with you. Okay, we finish here the watercolor, the abstract watercolor, and we're going to start um, making some trees. That is, <laughs> this is the mo the uh, shapes that I most use in my uh, landscapes. I really want to see how it looks these gold details with my trees. I'm going to do it today with a color palette that at the beginning does and going to look like really nice these colors together but i want you notice at the end with all these gold details like everything makes a really nice composition i'm going to finish painting these trees while the another abstract painting gets dry and when it's dry start putting the gold details in that one so let's start it This one is already dry, so I'm going to organize a little bit here. You can see the sun is already in the corner. This is dry, so we are ready to start. Uh, the first gold that we're going to try is this one is gold wash. I'm going to leave the list of all these materials behind the video, so don't worry. This wash is really nice because have a lot of opacity. Oh, sorry. And I want to use for this painting this brush that is a university. The Winsor & Newton is a really good brush for use with watercolors that doesn't are like creamy, that are like hard and you have to mix a lot. I'm going to show you at the end of all the paintings how it looks with the light and so you can compare each other the lights that I use for this exercise. Next painting that we're going to try is these two paintings here. This one, the first one, you can see how much I use this painting. It's one that I really love. We're going to try first this yellow next to that one. This one is from Art Philosophy. I don't remember the name exactly, but you know, I'm going to leave the name of all these watercolors that we're going to try today in the description of the video. So let's do some texture here with this watercolor. I'm going to make some spots like a, a giraffe spots. I love to do that.
The next painting is a painting that I love. This is my favorite gold. Of all the golds that I'm going to show you today, this is my favorite. Continue being the favorite. I really love this watercolor. Can you believe it or not? I don't find this painting again. I know that uh, I found this in a, a store in Etsy or was Instagram. I don't remember well, but that's what a time of my life that I bought new watercolors every day and I was crazy addicted. That was like 2021. And I don't find again that uh, store. So <laughs> yes, I don't have the name. This one is from Estelle. Now she has a Instagram really cool. I'm going to leave you the link of her Instagram and her Etsy store. She has a really good uh, watercolors too. And I love that she put the watercolors in this container like this little heart that I love to use it for my aesthetic. These have a really shiny too. And next watercolor that, hey, do you remember my favorite watercolor? Looks how it looks there. And the only thing that I know about that watercolor is they make it with Kremer pigments. Kremer, if I'm not grown. If I pronounce bad this, I <laughs> when I edit, I am editing the video, I let you the name well. So I have these watercolors, or let me see what I'm going to try next. This, these are the first watercolors gold that I bought. I bought this one like in 20, uh, 20, 2019. Yeah. And <laughs> this, I, these three colors is the most I use, but we're going to try just two of these colors today. I don't use like, uh, I don't, I don't like to use another platinum colors or pearl colors. I like more the the gold i'm obsessed with the gold so let's try this one first this looks very cool uh, next color of this mozart watercolors mozart is the brand i'm going to use this one that is like a little bit more cover uh, Cobre in Spanish. I don't remember how to pronounce that in English. I'm sorry. I'm going to do again the GF spots, but or maybe like a cow spots or this one. <laughs> Something very good about these watercolors is the price is very cheap. So that's why I bought this when I was starting with watercolors because those are good. Uh, very good price i think they have regular watercolors too with good pigments i don't try it the regular colors i just try the, the shiny colors but you can go and try it and let me know how this looks how is those pigments in the regular watercolors not in the metallic ones okay we finish here we can see the shiny and the light how it reflects the light this watercolor too next one that we're going to try today okay i have these pens this one is from sakura if i'm not wrong this like a calligraphy pen from sakura Oh, this is very, very shiny, but you have to check this one. But please be careful because if you don't do it right, the ink can be everywhere. Look at there happens. <laughs> yes, that's why I, I use it. <laughs> yes, I use this ink to put more in than other details. But yes, it's the spot there that now we're going to be crazy with that gold spot there. <laughs> but it's something that happens sometimes. Look at how shiny is that one. Too. That is really pretty. But like I told you, you have to be careful because this can uh, happens. These mistakes happens a lot. You have to be really careful. Oh, I love how this is. Looks very pretty. And now we're going to with the next pen this one i don't remember the brand the name say here is 
Deco Color Liquid Gold. I bought this one if I'm not wrong in Hobby Lobby. I found that one and look at how it looks at the end. I have to cut a little bit the the process because if not this video is going to be too long and you don't want to see more of my videos you know i figured it out i'm trying to figure out how to make the videos for youtube this next one is the um, jelly um the gold jelly roll from i don't remember <laughs> sorry but i'm going to leave the name here and those are watercolors that i'm very happy um, this was a itsy store that sent me these watercolors her name is milena and she has a, a story in itsy that have really cool watercolors and she sent me uh, three sets to try but she has two sets for gold watercolors so today i'm going to be so happy trying this is my first time trying her watercolors here so let's go and do it i'm very sorry to have all these colors to try it and i'm going to let you see the process and at the end i tell you my toes about this my toes about these watercolors but for now look at how shiny they are that is nice to support artists in etsy because you know we take time to do the things with quality there we do everything with love and etsy and if is possible and you can support artists in etsy and you are one of those persons i want to say thank you because you inspire us you support us and you give us more encourage encouragement to continue with our art because since the ceramics uh, paintings and all the things that we do there is with a lot of love i'm going to leave you with this process and Okay, Milena sent to me two sets, each set with six watercolors, the Golden Series Volume 1 and Volume 2, and 12 watercolors. All are so beautiful, but my favorite watercolors of all these two sets are in the Golden Series Volume 2 is the color caramel rich gold golden crown and saffron gold those three colors are so beautiful i really love the light that brings with those watercolors and uh, something that i like a lot with the gold watercolors is when they are very creamy I like a lot creamy watercolors. It's easy to use and more with textures because not as like I use it for big superficies. I, I, I use my watercolors for details. Definitely my favorite watercolors is that one that I told you about, Kramer Pigments, but these gold watercolors from Milena are so beautiful too here is how it looks i paint this at night so i think i can show you the process sometimes i don't have enough time but i like a lot the result how it looks my forest with those watercolors and how it looks this abstract painting that we paint with we paint together thank you so much for watching my videos i read all your comments i really love all your support and i appreciate a lot thank you for being here and support my channel and please if you want to leave in the comments some ideas of videos that i can make for you please feel free to leave those comments thank you so much and i see you soon